I'm sure people will vote for me to be a good queen. I've never been mean to people. Mom, can you vote for me to be a good queen? Of course, honey. Thank you. Mom, you voted for me to be an evil queen. Oops, sorry, honey. I voted wrong. I'm sure mom didn't do that on purpose, did she? Hi, Amara. Hi, can you vote for me to be a good queen? Yes, of course I'm going to vote for my best friend. Evil queen? Why did you vote evil queen? You deserve to be an evil queen, not a good queen. From now on, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Why is everyone voting for me to be an evil queen? Hey, do you want me to vote for you? Yes, please. Okay, I voted. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Don't worry. You'll definitely be chosen to be a good queen. I haven't eaten all day. Hey, have some money for food. Thank you. That's very kind of you. What vote is that, Dad? Today, everyone will vote for you, depending on if they think you're beautiful or ugly. If everyone considers you ugly, you'll be killed. Don't worry. I'll help you with your first vote. Mom, you're gonna vote beautiful, right? I'm not your mom, I'm your stepmother, and no, I'm not gonna vote that. Because your face reminds me of your mom, and she was ugly. Lucy, if you vote beautiful for me, I'll do the same for you. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna vote beautiful? I'm voting ugly. I want you to die so that I can take your boyfriend. Grandma, help me. I don't want to die. Everyone's voting ugly. Okay, honey, be patient. Sometimes life is unfair, even though we do good for others. But don't worry, I'll vote beautiful, okay? Thank you, Grandma. Guys, whoever votes ugly for Amara, I'll give them a hundred pounds. Wow, okay. I voted. Give me the money. Why are you doing this to me? Why are people mean to me when I'm always nice? People will disappear every time you sneeze or blink. I hate people, so blink. That way they can disappear quicker. Let's see how many people are left. 10,000? Whoa, looks like there's a lot of people living in the small town. I have to get rid of them quick. That way I can have this whole town for myself. Honey, what are you doing? I'm trying to get rid of everyone as quick as I can, mom. What? So you're the one who got that option? Yeah, why are you shocked? Don't tell anyone and please be careful. Don't worry, mom. I'm going to make sure you don't disappear. You can't control who disappears because it happens randomly. What? Hey, bestie. Hey, um, can I just ask, how many times does a person blink per day? 20,000 times. That means everyone's going to disappear today. Why are you No, asking? um, it's nothing. Okay, anyway, what I was going to tell you was... Wait, did she just disappear? Be careful. I had the person responsible for everyone's disappearances in the school. How do you know that? It doesn't matter. You have to help us catch that person so we do How do you know that? It doesn't matter. You have to help us catch that person so we don't disappear. We don't have much time. Okay, class. I'm sure you all heard about the rumor. Seth, but um, what if it's fake? It's not fake. We all have to work together to find whoever's responsible for this. Yes, we have to kill them. How are you going to find them? It's easy. We're just going to have to test everyone. Whenever someone blinks and another person disappears, that means it's them. Okay, it's your turn, Amara. Please blink. Why aren't you blinking? I'm going to get caught. I have to blink fast so that everyone disappears before they kill me. I feel so lonely. Now I have to live alone, eat alone, and sleep alone. It's so boring. Wait, there's still some people left? Yes, I have to find them. <coughs> I just heard something. I think it's coming from that house. Okay, I can't blink anymore. Otherwise, I'll stay on this earth alone forever. Finally, Amara's here. How do you know my name? People will disappear every time you sneeze or blink. I hate people, so blink. That way they can disappear quicker. Let's see how many people are left. 10,000? Whoa, looks like there's a lot of people living in the small town. I have to get rid of them quick. That way I can have this whole town for myself. Honey, what are you doing? I'm trying to get rid of everyone as quick as I can, mom. What? So you're the one who got that option? Yeah, why are you shocked? Don't tell anyone and please be careful. Don't worry, Mom. I'm going to make sure you don't disappear. You can't control who disappears because it happens randomly. What? Hey, bestie. Hey, um, can I just ask, how many times does a person blink per day? 20,000 times. That means everyone's going to disappear today. Why are you No, asking? um, it's nothing. Okay, anyway, what I was going to tell you was... Wait, did she just disappear? Be careful. I had the person responsible for everyone's disappearances in the school. How do you know that? It doesn't matter. You have to help us catch that person so we... You can't just lock me in here. 
See you later, sis. Okay, fine. Don't think mom will find out about this. You're gonna be in so much trouble. She didn't even leave me any food. I'm gonna starve to death, aren't I? I'm so hungry. Wait, just because my hands are tied doesn't mean I can't walk. Mom, what the hell? I've been stuck down in the basement for the past three hours and you're just here chilling watching TV. Stuck in the basement? Didn't I tell you you weren't allowed down there? Mom, there's something more serious to worry about. My twin sister escaped. She what? Yeah, she was like, oh, now it's my turn to see the outside world. And she just left. If anyone finds out, they'll kill you both. So what do we do now? Babe, I made you breakfast. Aw, thanks. Leave, you need to leave right now. Did you just say something? I said I made you breakfast. No, after that. I didn't say anything after that. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just remembered actually. I need to go visit my mom. Thanks for the breakfast though. Hey mom, can I sleep here for a few nights? Of course you can. Thank you. Go to the basement. Who said that? Hello? Okay, this is definitely not normal. Mom, I'm just going to the basement real quick. No, don't. Why? Because it's messy. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going crazy. Bye, Mom. I'm going back to my boyfriend's house. Don't leave. Do not leave. I keep hearing these... Voices in your head. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but... I've been hearing these... Voices in your head. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but... The voices that you've been hearing are from your twin sister. My twin sister? Since when did I have a twin sister? I thought it was illegal to have more than one child. It is, which is why she's been living in the basement. You're keeping her in the basement? What kind of a person does that? I'm doing it to protect you both. So you're telling me these voices in my head are all her? Yeah, she was born with that ability. I'm gonna go see her. No, you can't. Why? Because it's dangerous. If anyone finds out, they'll kill you both. No one will find her, mom. Relax. Hello? Sis? Oh my gosh. She wasn't lying. <coughs> what are you doing? You've had enough time on the outside world. Now it's my time. What? You can't just lock me in here. See you later, sis. My daughter's so dumb. You can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. Mom! Honey, what are you doing here? I thought you were at You school. lied to me. Now because of you, I've lost all my friends at school and I broke up with my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're not. Why do you hate me so much? Because you're a spoiled little brat. What kind of a mother hates her own child? I'm not your real mom. What? Your dad cheated on me and your real mom wasn't ready to raise you. So your dad left you here with me. He's always traveling for work and I've had to raise you all on my own. Is that why you hate me? I hate you because I haven't been able to live my life how I was supposed to. I lost my job because I had to take care of you. Well, I'm sorry I was such a headache to you. Hey. What do you want? I'm sorry for what I said yesterday. You called me fake. I know, but it was all a misunderstanding. Will you forgive me? Good morning, honey. Morning, mom. Huh? 200%? Why is this percentage thing above my head? Oh, that's the level of love someone feels for you. Wow, so your love for me is 200%? That's right, honey. <laughs> Hey, Amara. Hey. Let's walk to class together. 10%? This whole time you said you love me like a sister. Turns out you were just lying. What? What are you talking about? There's no point pretending anymore. You're just fake. I thought she was my best friend. I can't believe she was pretending this whole time. Hey, babe. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, your love level for me is at 100%, right? Yeah, of course it is. If you don't like me, why are you dating me? We're over. Mom, I'm home! My daughter's so stupid, you can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. Okay, I'll change it, I guess. Weren't you wearing another shade of lipstick like a minute yeah, ago? I had to change it. Why? Because the first thing that my son didn't like was my red lipstick. Damn, picky much? That's what I was thinking. This has to be a joke. You know what? I don't like your eye color either. Whatever your eye color is, you get my point. Hey, sweet cheeks. Leave me alone. Why are you always such a bitch? Isn't it obvious? I don't like you. You're so mean. Cry me a river. Why was Chris talking to you? I don't know. To annoy me, as always. 
I think he likes you. No. Honey, did you get the mark yet? You really think she's gonna get the lucky mark? She's literally never achieved anything in her life. We might as well give her up for adoption. Don't be rude, Jimmy. No, Mom, I haven't gotten a mark yet. Hey, Mom, what does the mark even mean? Well, back in the days, whoever got the lucky mark would win the lottery and be super rich. I wish I had the lucky mark. I'm so tired of being poor. You're not even poor. Yes, I am. My parents won't even let me buy the newest iPhone. Psst, hey, let me borrow your pen. Sorry, but I need it. Wait, you got the mark. Miss, Amara got the mark. Oh my gosh, let me see. Wait, but why is it pink? What do you mean? What color is it supposed to be? You need to get that checked out with the professionals. Where are you going? To get my mark checked. Don't go. Why? Because apparently years ago, a girl also got the pink mark. And when she went to the professionals to get it checked out, she was never seen again. There's something we haven't told you. The reason we chose two people instead of one this year is because we're doing an experiment. And what's the experiment? People have paid a lot of money to see you both fight. Whoever wins will be able to stay here forever. What? What happens to the loser? The loser dies. So you want us to fight to death basically? Yeah, exactly. Is that what you rich people do? Love to see us poor people suffer. I mean, this is insane. I'm not fighting for anything. I'd like to go back home now. That's not how it works. You accepted to come here. Now you need to follow the rules. I can't believe they're doing this to us. Did you know this was going to happen? No, I had no idea. Look, I have a plan. If none of us agree to fight, they can't do anything and there won't be a show. Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to our winners this year. Okay, the fight starts in 3, 2, 1. Go! I said go. Okay, fine. If you don't fight, you'll both be dead. Hey, I would like to buy some sadness, please. That will be 50 pounds. There you go. Thanks. Don't forget your complimentary sadness ball. I won't. Remember, we can only afford sadness right now, so don't buy any other emotions. Okay, mom. Hey, sad face, still too broke to afford any other emotions, huh? I'm still saving up for it, Jessica. Not everyone's as rich as you. Sounds like a poor excuse to me. Do you get the joke? Did you guys hear? Apparently it cost 5,000 pounds to buy a happiness ball. Yeah, I heard. Apparently it's so popular, it sold out everywhere. Uh, what are you putting in that bowl? Oh, nothing. I'm just adding a bit of flavor. Hey, Jessica, I bought you a present. Is that a happiness bottle? Give that to me. <coughs> what did you put in this? Oh, just some poison. Enjoy a drink. It's already late and so far no sign from the prince. Amara, did you hear that? Someone just sneezed. <gasps> the prince! Let's get him out of here. Come on, get up. <laughs> Your Majesty, you're wearing purple. Does that mean you're my soulmate? I think so, yes. <coughs> we have to take him to the hospital. Fortunately, there's no permanent damages. He just needs to rest at home. Take him back to the palace. Okay, we will. Thank you. What are you doing here? The prince rejected you and kicked you out of the palace. They won't believe you until the prince wakes up. Then we wait for him to wake up. The prince's soulmate is getting married tomorrow, but why is Amara still wearing red? She's just desperate. You all know the truth when the prince wakes up. Whoever that girl is marrying is the prince's twin brother. Stop making stuff up. You're just jealous the prince chose me and not you. Soon, you'll see that I'm not lying. If it's true, bring him. I can't do that. He needs to rest. Well, I'll only believe you when I see him with my own eyes. How's the prince? I would like to announce that the son who will take over my throne is Amara's soulmate. Thank you so much, your majesty. What? That's not fair. My soulmate was supposed to be king. You know very well that your soulmate was not next in line for the throne. Mine was. But father, you can't do this. I'm your son too. Yes, you are. But did you forget what he did to the queen? Queen? What did he do to the queen? He killed the queen, his own mother, and sold her crown. I still haven't thanked you for saving me. You don't need to thank me. I did what was right. It was also thanks to my best friend. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. The important thing now is that everyone knows you're my soulmate. Amara? Yes, your majesty? Thank you for saving my son. Also, you look beautiful. Thank you. You ready to walk down the aisle? So ready. Let's go. I would like to announce that my favorite color is wine red. Wine red? That means I'm his soulmate. Girl with the red dress, come here. He doesn't seem angry with me for what I did. Yes, your majesty. Sorry for earlier. I didn't know you were the prince. Of course. I forgive you. You're my soulmate. Everyone's saying Amara's the prince's soulmate. Yeah, the prince's favorite color is exactly that tone of red she's wearing. 
Don't celebrate before victory. What do you mean by that? Did you forget? Yesterday there was a girl with the same color top as you. But after the announcement from the prince, she left. But why'd she leave? Maybe she's hiding because she's planning something. Planning something? Yeah, so be careful, Amara. That means I have to marry the prince as soon as possible. Amara, come with me. Now that I know you're my soulmate, do you accept to marry me? Yes, I accept. The wedding's about to start. I just hope that girl doesn't show up. Hey, wait, she's the fake soulmate. I think. It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll be the most beautiful girl at the event. Let's go to this great event. Let's go. Finally, we're here. This place looks amazing. Sarah, look, there's a girl with the same color of clothes as me. One of you two are violating the rules. No, I'm not lying. My soulmate's color is this tone of red. Okay, I believe you. In today's event, my son, the prince, will find his soulmate. The girl that is wearing a dress with his favorite color is his soulmate. Why that face, Amara? I'm a bit nervous. Where the hell is the bathroom? You don't watch where you're going? I'm so sorry, I just... The prince should fire a person like you. I'm so clumsy. I'm sorry, let me introduce myself. My name is Liam, the prince of this palace. Wait, so he's the prince? I would like to announce that my favorite color is... What if I told you that wasn't the real prince? What? The one that appeared with grey clothes yesterday at the palace wasn't the real prince, it was his twin brother. The prince has a twin brother? Yeah, and he's trying to take his throne. <sighs> so we have to find the prince, but where? His twin brother probably locked him up somewhere, so we have to find him as soon as possible. You're still wearing the prince's favorite color. You do know that he's found his soulmate, right? You do know that that wasn't the real prince, right? Stop making excuses. You're just jealous he didn't pick you. The real prince is in danger. Prove it. I'm not going to prove anything. You decide whether to believe it or not. You have to find the prince soon so people will believe but you. But how are we going to find the prince? What color do you like? Purple. Why? Because the real prince must be wearing purple clothes at midnight tonight. It's already late and so far no sign from the prince. Hachoo! Amara, did you hear that? Someone just sneezed. My soulmate likes wine red. So you have to wear an outfit of that color to find your soulmate. What? Mom, I'm going to school. And why aren't you wearing a red outfit? I don't like red and I don't even care about finding my soulmate. Amara, I met my soulmate. Seriously? How? I'm wearing the color he likes. Well, I'm really happy for you. Amara, come with me to the prince's event. Prince's event? Yes. Can I wear whatever clothes I want there? No, you have to wear the color your soulmate likes. If you don't, you'll get kicked out. What's the purpose of this event anyway? And why do we have to wear the color our soulmate likes? The prince wants to find his soulmate. If a girl wears a dress with the prince's favorite color, it means he's our soulmate. I don't have any dresses. I only have this top and one red. It's fine. That top looks great. What do you think? It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll